I was waiting two hours out there. Fascinating. Have you considered a career as a memoirist? Let's see it. You don't introduce yourself? Sorry, I thought you were waiting two hours. No, you wanted to chat. Hi, I'm Greg. How about that local sports team? It's not an infection. How can you tell without? You want me to touch you? It's your private place. You're chewing nicotine gum, which causes dehydration, which causes wear and tear. Try a lubricant or foreplay if you're cheap. Just take a swab and get it tested, OK? Sorry. I already met this month's quota of useless tests for stubborn idiots. You're rude. Wow, you're like a detective or something. And you're smart. And you're funny. But you are bitter and you're lonely. So you treat everyone around like they're idiots. And you get away with it. Because you're keen. Please stop. It's hard to write through the haze of bitter tears. But you're not actually getting away with it. The last nurse you made fun of, she probably slipped some crap into your coffee. Mm, yeah. I asked for deep crap and I didn't coffee. Treat people like jerks. You get treated like a jerk. Thank you. Bend over. You could be having an infection, you'd have a fever. But you're chewing nicotine gum, which messes with the weather in your mouth, so I need to vacation elsewhere. Oh. And wait till I put the thermometer in. Uh-uh. You break it. You bought it. Leaving early today. Did you ever get that thing where you're sure you forgot something, but you can't figure out what? Guess it can't be that important. He got off easy. I almost gave him a colonoscopy. That was one of the stupidest things you have ever done, and there is heavy competition for... What are you doing? Hmm. Only ate half your breakfast. Feeling a little sick this morning? I'm not pregnant. They burnt my omelet. You need to apologize to this guy. I'm a man of principle. I don't care how much time and money it costs you to defend me. He wants to kill you. No empty coffee cups. Mop the caffeine. Good for baby. Cups are in the other wastebasket. Baby's in your mind. You can berate patients all you want. Shoving objects into their rectums is assault. Pay attention to me. Sorry. That would make it harder to ignore you. Can't ignore that rapidly expanding first trimester ass, though. Sometimes an ass is just an ass. You are not always right, House. Apologize to the guy. I was just gonna call you. I need a court order to biopsy this woman's brain. Speaking of litigation. Michael Twitter. You know Dr. House. You guys can talk here. I don't want to sue you. Good. I want to beat the crap out of you. Less good. And I'll tell you why. You're a bully. And uh, bullies, they don't back down until they run into someone stronger and meaner. But you'll accept an apology? Yes. Not really a recipe for sincerity. I'm not looking for sincerity. I'm looking for humiliation. Something that will make you think twice before you treat the next patient like crap. Here's what's gonna happen. You go brag to your friends about how you made the big nasty doctor poop in his pants. I get Cuddy off my back by telling her that I humiliated myself. Here's the catch. We're both gonna be lying. I'm not apologizing. If anything, you deserved a bigger thermometer. 
Come to return the thermometer. Don't bother. I've moved on. If you'd actually read my chart, you'd have known that I'm a cop. You were going 40 out of 25 zone. Oh, come on. This isn't because I was speeding. This is because I'm Latino. License, registration, proof of insurance. <sighs> Sorry. Cool jacket. Only pockets for important stuff. That's a shame. 50 buck ticket. Is that your way of beating me up? Or is that just the price for sticking something in you? You took a pill while you were examining a patient. That's serious, addictive behavior. I'm betting that you're holding right now. I wasn't weaving. I'm not drunk. You've got no reason. Pupils dilated. Appeared to be under the influence of a narcotic. Would you mind turning around, please, putting your hands behind your head? That polite crap ever work on people. Most people realize there's only one answer. Got a prescription? I'm a cripple who works in a hospital. You don't think I can get a valid prescription? Arrogant son of a bitch like you? Oh, I bet you didn't bother. You are under arrest for possession of narcotics with the right to remain silent, which you should take advantage of for once in your life. If you give up the right to remain silent, anyone you say can't. 